of the gods. <laughs> drink, 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 drink it. Come on. Drink it. Drink it. Come on. Drink it. Drink it. Drink it. Come on. Come on. Drink it. Drink it. Come on. Come on. Drink it. Drink it. Drink it. Drink it. Drink it. Come on. Drink it. Drink it. Drink it. Drink more. Finish it up. Come on. Drink it. Drink it. Yeah. Is it over? Uh-uh. You want to be a full brother? You got to go the whole night. Oh, no, man. One last uh, right, buddy. I want to go home. Please. Fuck home. We're your home. <coughs> Don't be a pussy. I'm sick. Be a man. Time to dance the last dance.
I'll put on another record. Now, what's one you brought me last week? Artie? Artie Shaw. Yeah. You know, I listened to that all week after I finished breakfast and cleaning the rooms. And I jumped to faraway places. With strange sounding names? Like, um. Timbuktu? Like. Palmdale? Like. Kathmandu? Saugus. <laughs> Paris. Paris of Elf. <laughs> Casablanca. Bakersfield. I'll put on the record. No, I, I gotta go. Those are all the places I have to be tomorrow. Well, why leave now? Come on, spend the night. The grapevine's closed. I gotta take back roads the whole way. But only now I'm gonna miss my first appointment. And some other guy's going to get there, and he's going to get my commission. <laughs> I want to stay, Leanne. I want to stay and dance with you all night. When you're coming back... Next week? Here. I want you to give this to the old man. Well, you're not staying. Yeah, but he needs it. And I would if I could. Good night, Leanne. Shut the fuck up. We killed him. Fuck you. He hit his head. We, we killed him. Man, what are we going to do? I don't know. Go up the hill. Get the cars. We got to clean him up. We got to think about what happened. I know what happened. We all do. Get the fucking cars. Get the guys and get them. Go on. your head, David. Why'd you do that? You hit your head, and that's what killed you. You hit your head, and that's what killed you. 
But you're a brother now. You hit your head, and that's what killed you. But you're a brother now. But you're dead. Don't you even think about it, Sue. That's it. No more warning shots. God damn it, Daddy. Why can't I play baseball? Because you're supposed to be practicing the goddamn piano. I don't want to. You don't want to. You think I want to do this? Then let's go play some baseball together. Come here. Come here. Here. Sit. Stay. Now, how long have we been in Norton Creek? Half a year. Half a year. It's different, isn't it? Yeah, a lot different. I mean, it's not L.A. I'm not a detective on a big force. I'm a sheriff now. And you're not one little girl in a school of thousands. I mean, you know every kid in this town, right? I like them. I like them, too. And I like this place, and I like our new life. And there's a lot about our old one we can forget. But there's something you gotta always remember. Your mother loved you. I mean, she loved you. And she'll love me, too. But she had this crazy idea that you were gonna end up being a concert piano player, huh? Now, I know you're no good, all right? I know this. And you know it. But that's what she wanted. To give it another year, right? Yeah? Okay. Give me a kiss on the cheek. Oh, gotcha. Come here. Oh, I love you. I love you. Hey, you get me wet. Get me all wet. I got you. Get me all wet. Oh, gosh. Tell you what. Tell you what. Hmm? Hell with the piano for now. And hell with the car. Let's play ball. Sheriff Baker, do you read Sheriff Baker? 
Yeah, go ahead. We got a DOA. Looks like a hit and run. All right, I'll be right there, Joe. Mm. Police business. Police business. Come on. Oh. Uh, bum, bum, bum. Oh, Here, oh. orange. Oh, cool. uh. And massive hemorrhaging due to internal injuries, consistent with a car bashing the shit out of them at 60 miles an hour. May I release the body to the family? Yeah. How soon can I get a report? Oh, you can read it over lunch. All right, let's get out of here. So what time did the fraternity boys bring in the dead body? 5.30 this morning. Jesus, Dokes works fast, huh? Yeah, he enjoys it. Sheriff. Yeah. One of the kids that brought David Farmer in this morning. He's Don Curran. Will Curran's boy. Just thought you ought to know. Well, I'll tell you what, Bob, I don't care. I want those kids in my office today. I'm going to talk to them. Oh, Ralph, this just came in. DMV ID, the hit and run driver. Electronic sales. Zach? CHP will have them before the day's out. Anything on the computer about those two guys that bolted from the prison yard? MJ August and Merlin Wells? Right. Nothing. They're still at large. State police think that they went south. They're probably in L.A. by now. All right, I'll be back at 2 o'clock. You make sure you have those fraternity boys waiting. Where, where are you going? The scene of the crime. What for? Evidence, Fred. I knew that. Right. And what about Sue? What about it? Who's going to watch her? Well, nobody. She's in the park. Well, I'll go make her lunch. That'd be nice. Maybe you could stay and cook dinner, too. And breakfast. Make the bed. Maybe. were gone. You guys were getting the cars. I was there with David waiting for you. He opened his eyes and, and, and he looked at me and he asked me if he was in. Was he a bro now? And I told him, I, I told him he was. And, and then there were these headlights. I, I tried to get him out of the way, but, but it, it was too late. The motherfucker killed him. We did. We aren't going to jail for this, Jack. The motherfucker in the Pontiac is, right? Right? I've never seen a sorrier bunch of assholes in my life. You boys fucked up. Dad, we didn't. Didn't what? Didn't kill that poor bastard who wanted to be in your stupid fucking fraternity? Doc Cantwell and Doke spent half the night scraping molasses off his ass. What do you think that cost? Hmm? You ought to thank your lucky stars. There's some poor prick out there who's going to take the rap for you. Now look, just keep your story straight when that new sheriff talks to you. Hmm? Can you fucks do that? Why couldn't you all be content with just getting drunk and chasing pussy like I used to? Hey, sorry the order's so small this time, but things haven't been so easy. 
Uh, just happy to help out. Thanks. Yeah. I appreciate it. You're a whiz, Frank. I mean, the stuff you invent, come up with. You ought to go out on your own one time. Yeah, maybe. Hey, what do you say we do some hunting and fishing next month when you come back? Up at my cabin. Be like old times. Got everything you need up there. Yeah, I remember. Sounds good. Yeah, you want to get the hell out of here, don't you? Yeah, I got it. On to the next place. That company's got you running your ass ragged. And that reminds me, they called. Who called? Uh, someone from your company. Didn't give a name. Wanted to know what time you're due here. What'd you tell them? Well, I figure it's none of their damn business. Told them I didn't know. <laughs> Thanks, Paul. Hey, any time. Now, don't forget, the cabin, next month. Deal. All right, get the hell out of here. A Chamber of Commerce meeting will be held at the American Legion Hall this evening at 8 p.m. In other local news, police have come up with a positive identification of the hit-and-run vehicle that killed David Farmer, age 18, on the dirt road cutoff of Highway 60 last night. It's a 1979 Pontiac, license number 496SRK. The vehicle's registered to Frank Govers of Palmdale. If you see this vehicle, please notify the police. your pay. Uh, this is too much. It includes a week's severance. I sold the place. Will Curran finally made me an offer I couldn't lightly turn down. Well, what are you going to do, Mr. Cobb? I'm going to move to an old age home. Then I'm going to die. You can stay a week. That's when the bulldozer comes. Nice day, boys. Come in. Rick McDonald? That's right. Have a seat. I'll be right with you. So, you ever get down to L.A., Rick? Yeah. When the team plays football. Right. I used to work traffic down there. Crazy town, huh? Lots of cars, lots of shitty drivers crashing into each other. Every now and then you uh, get a hit and run. 
Like that son of a bitch who ran down Dave? Yeah, yeah. Tends to make the job complicated. And then you gotta talk to eyewitnesses, and that really makes it complicated. Because for every 20 witnesses, you get 20 completely different stories. <laughs> Except in your case, huh? I mean, here you are, nine drunks, in the middle of the night, in the middle of nowhere, and each one of you tell me the exact same story. I mean, not one of you says, I don't know, or maybe not. What, everybody's got 20-20 on this, Rick, hmm? Jesus, I'm impressed. Look at me. I got one word. Did he see you? Come on, Rick, it's a simple question. The guy in the car, did he see you? You all saw him, right? Did he see you? Yes or no? Yes or no? I'm not sure. You're not sure. So we got three yeses, three noes, and two I'm not sure. Well, that's where you're all a little confused, isn't it? Hey. Get out. I'm sending you a friend. When are you going to get that guy, Sheriff? Have a seat. I hope we catch up to him real soon. I got an APB out on him. Pretty anxious to talk to him myself. He ought to be killed. He what? He ought to be killed. Well, manslaughter isn't a capital offense, Don. Of course, neither is public drunkenness or assault and battery. What are you talking about? You tell me. What do you think that is? What's a feather? Feather. Good, good. It's got sticky stuff all over it. You hear of any uh, oil spills in Horton Creek lately? I don't understand what this has to do with anything. It's molasses. I found a whole bunch of this stuff out on the old dirt cutoff by Highway 60. Got a whole bag of it. What for? I don't know. I collect stuff. <laughs> so you, um, you play ball, Don? What does that have to do with anything? You play baseball. You good hitter? Hmm? You slap hitter? You like to go for that long ball. I don't understand what this has to do with anything. Just answer the questions. Now, my guess is you like the long ball. Hmm? And why else would you have a 36-inch bat? And what's that? That couldn't be your initials, huh? Hey, thanks. I've been looking for that. Now, just what in the hell was going on up there? Frank, I think you've got to turn yourself in. I can't. Well, if the body was just lying in the middle of the road, you're not guilty of anything other than not reporting it. I can turn myself in. Well, whoever wrote down your license number can say what happened. Leanne, whoever wrote down my license framed me. Yeah, you got a point. How come you didn't report it? The kid was murdered. I couldn't do anything for him. I just can't talk to the police right now. You got other problems? Yeah. OK. You can tell me about it some other time. What do you need me to do? I need another car to get to my friend's hunting cabin. It's a couple hours away up in the mountains. We can take the old man's truck. He never uses it anyway. I'll drive you. No, I'll go myself. Frank. Stay here, Leanne. I'll be back soon. I'll bring some more records. I won't be here. The old man sold the place. You gotta take me with you, Frank. 
got no place to go. No family. I've been stuck here three years. Ever since my husband ditched me. He has me go in for a thermos of coffee and he ditches me. The old man only gave me a job because he felt sorry for me. But the only thing I ever looked forward to was you coming by every week with your records. It's the only time I ever felt like I was living, like I was feeling anything. Do you have any idea what it's like to be alone? To have no one on your side? I'm talking too much, I'm gonna blow it. Frank. Please take me with you. Sheriff, could I have a word with you? Sure. I think this is really stupid. I mean, I, th I think we're buying into some trouble here. Mm-hmm. I mean, you lock these boys up, you're gonna get Will Curran and all of his friends real mad. So what? I don't think you understand, Sheriff. This guy is fucking lethal. Jesus Christ, Bob, don't tell me you're afraid of him. What would you do with the evidence in hand? I don't, I don't know. Well, ask yourself this. How come David Farmer didn't get out of the way of that car? He had to see those headlights coming for a good hundred yards. Well, he was probably drunk like the rest of them. They got out of the way. I gotta believe David Farmer couldn't. Well, how could you ever know that? Well, that's why I gotta talk to the driver. And until I have him and until I have some answers, these kids are on ice for the next 36 hours. End of story, Bob. Where's Joe? She went to your house to fix Sue some dinner. You all right? Oh, I'm, I'm fine. I'm fine. <laughs> right. Relax. I just read Dr. Campbell's report, and I want to ask you a few questions on the condition of David Farmer's body. Oh, very beautiful. His parents will be pleased tomorrow. I'm sure they will. Look, what, what I wanted to ask you, was David Farmer's body covered in molasses and feathers? Uh, was it? Was it? Well, certainly not. Thank you very much. So, I married Johnny when I was 15, and I'm 18 now. So, technically, I've been married to him for three years. One year with him in his truck, and two years with the old man in the hotel. <laughs> I guess that makes this the most dangerous and exciting thing I've ever done. It's kind of cool. When we get to the cabin, I want you to leave me there truck back to the old man and forget about me. Why? Because there's no way any good's gonna come out of this. For either one of us. I shouldn't have let you come. Well, I want to give it a shot, Frank. We have no shot. I don't anyway. When I was 18, 
I was making detonation devices for the weathermen. I've been running ever since. You've never heard of the weathermen? Just guys on television. That's not what you're talking about. No. What about Bobby Seale? Abby Hoffman? The Berrigan brothers, Mark Rudman, McCarthy? I don't know any of those guys. They were all involved in the Vietnam War. They were trying to stop it. So were the weathermen. By blowing up government buildings, research labs. I had this electronics degree, and I thought living on the edge was kind of cool, too. Well, maybe it was. Bobby Seale's writing cookbooks now. Abby Hoffman OD'd. The rest of them are trivia questions. And I'm fucked. I missed out on my life, Leanne. You don't have to do the same. I have no other life. You're the only thing I've had for the longest time, Frank. You've been kind to me, and that's good enough for me. Fix my music box. I don't know the weathermen from the man on the moon. And it really doesn't matter. What matters is that you're in trouble and I'm going to help you. For better or for worse. End of story. Next. Right. Next. If the truck makes it. If not, we'll walk. No, don't stop. That's nice. Hey, oh, sweetie. It's just... <laughs> just how he it's fun. Maybe Joe can be my teacher. Uh, I'm into law enforcement, honey. Huh. <laughs> well, what do you think, Dad? It's better than me just practicing out of them old books all the time. Well, it's fine with me, but uh, you should ask Joe. We'll talk about it later. Well, I guess I better be going. Where? Why? Home, dinner. Oh, and I left you guys some casserole in the oven. Casserole? Well, I'll see you in the morning. Isn't there enough for three? Hey! Deputy Dog! <laughs> what about us? We get to eat or what? Bread and water, partner. Fuck you. What about some dinner? Hey, you watch your language, Don. You boys will get something when Fred comes on. He's stopping at the Burger King on Highway 21, all right? Yeah. Suck my whopper, dickhead. If I could find it. <laughs> What's the matter with you? Deputy Dog just said something funny my expense. I'm laughing about it, Jack. Laugh, Jack. There's nothing funny about this, Don. I'm gonna tell him. Tell him what? What happened. We all should. It's the right thing to do. No. We've got to, Don. It was an accident. We can't let some other guy take the rap for this. Why not? Because it's wrong. Fuck that. Fuck him. And we're fucked too if you talk. Shit, you, we could get kicked out of school, go to rehab, not get fucking jobs. Hey, we're talking about the rest of our lives here. 
Why fuck it up now? We already have. I'm gonna tell him. You're not gonna tell shit. Him. Jack. I'm fine, Dad. No problem. It was just a little accident. Bail me out. All right, you go to sleep, all right? Give me a kiss. Good night. Dad? Yeah. Jen has had to play baseball. Well, that's good. <laughs> Good night. Dad? Yeah. I love Mommy very much. I know. I like Joe, too. But I'll never forget Mommy. Me neither. be all right. This document is perfectly legal, Bob. Judge Hagender signed it an hour ago. So you can sign the fucking release form and get you and your family out of this town. Let's get the hell out of here. Stay here then? If you do, we're all fucked. Including our dads. Yours too. Thanks for dinner. No. Thanks for taking care of my kid. I appreciate it. You're welcome. She's a great kid. I really love her. Yeah, well. Good night. Good night. Ralph? Yeah. What? I'm not making a fool of myself here, am I? I'm gun shy. I know that. That's why I moved here. That's why I took this job. I, I just needed to change gears. To neutral? <laughs> Maybe. You ever been married? No, I never met anybody around here that's worth marrying. Copy. Uh. 
Yeah, Fred, go ahead. Sweet home, huh? For now. I got an idea. Let's pretend we've gone away on vacation and this is our mountain retreat. And we've come to get away from it all. We'll fish and swim and play music and dance. Okay? Come on. Let's pretend. Okay, we'll pretend. Did you bring the pretend key? I'll break the glass. No, don't. It's open. But he can't. No chords. He's a good listener, though. Sometimes. <laughs> so, did you bring any beer up, Mr. Thompson? Because we're running low. No? <laughs> well, at least you brought up a little squab. What the hell, man? That's my signature, Sheriff. I signed the release form. It's all legal. What's this? More legal bullshit? No, that's my resignation. Ah. I quit. So that's all there is to it? No. No, I have a wife and a kid, and that's all there is to it. Bob, you cut yourself shaving? What about you, Fred? What about me and what? You two chicken shit to work with me? Depends. If you're asking me to go up against Will Curran with you, I gotta say, yeah, I'm too chicken shit. You listen to me. You take that badge off your chest and you get the hell out of my sight. Stay and fight for it, Ralph. God, Jesus, me and who else? This whole goddamn town is bought and sold by one guy. The mortician, the doctor, the judge, the cops. They're all owned by this son of a bitch running around like he's a barren king. That shit went out of style 50 years ago. And you know, another thing I can't understand, why somebody like you, you stay in a dump like this. My family's here. My family doesn't run. Don't bullshit me. I got family. I mean, you think Bob and Fred are the only people concerned about their children? So you're going to uproot your daughter every time things get tough? Maybe. Maybe. Well, I'll tell you something, Ralph. There are going to be Will Currens under every rock and tree anywhere you go unless you quit being a cop. Now, I'm not telling you what to do. You do what you want. But I'm here. And I'll be here tomorrow. Between us, we got $300 in a truck. The fuel line needs fixing, but it'll get you out of here. 
Take it. There's no phone here, and it'll take us a day and a half to climb down off this mountain. You could be anywhere. We ain't ready to go anywhere yet. Every cop in two counties are out there looking for us. I know it ain't something that's in your realm of experience, Mr. and Mrs. Thompson, but it's a fact. Shit. We wouldn't last two hours out there. Not till things cool down. So, yeah, we'll, uh, take you up on your kind offer. But in the meantime, I think it's in our best interest if we just hang together a while. Enjoy your hospitality. We can kind of bond, you know? Don't hurt her. Oh, Merlin and me ain't gonna hurt anybody. We're gonna party. <laughs> We're gonna party! <laughs> hey, you see? Anybody wanna dance? Crank it up, Merlin!
Don't mind him. Go get him, Merlin. Oh, God. Burn her up, Merlin. <laughs> It's my turn, Mr. Thompson. Except I ain't as gentle as Merlin. Yeah. It's me. Big Nick. Daddy? Daddy? He's never made the bed in his life. Clay's donuts? Uh-huh. Thanks. Coffee? Coffee, good. It doesn't have to mean anything, you know. It doesn't? Listen, I think you should know that um, I decided to stay here. I'm going to do my job. You don't have a shot going up against Curran alone. You weren't talking that way yesterday, were you? No, but... Look, the last thing I want to do is sit around and wait for the state police to pick up Frank Govers. It's time for some good old-fashioned detective work. I'm going to retrace his sales route, I'm going to get leads, and then I'm going to find him. And when I find him, I'm going to call the county DA, and I'm going to get a goddamn indictment. And then who's ever guilty, I'm going to throw their ass in my jail. I mean, I took an oath of some kind to that effect, didn't I? It sounds like you're going to be driving all over heaven and earth. What do you want me to do? I want you to stay on the radio, and I want you to be here. What about Sue? Sue, do me a favor, call Mrs. Turner and ask her if she can stay the night. Wait a minute. What? It does mean something. It surely does, ma'am. <laughs> you take care of yourself, cowboy. You come back in one piece. Who is it? 
Sheriff Baker. I think it's time we talk. I've got nothing to say. Judge Hagander deemed the evidence insufficient to hold those boys. And unless you find something better, they're not going back. Oh, I will. I promise you that. Huh. What? With a word of a hit and run driver who left the scene? Well, go ahead, find him. Oh, go ahead. I bet you'd like to find that driver just as much as I would. Except people like you, you want to buy them off and you want to scare them off just like you've done with everybody else in this town. Look at me, goddammit, when I'm talking to you. Now, I want you to know that as long as I'm still standing, as long as I'm still here, justice is going to be served. You got it? As long as you're still here. Interesting choice of words. How long do you plan to stay? For as long as it takes. Well, how about 25 grand relocation expenses? And I'll throw in the busted intercom. Jesus Christ. Look, it doesn't have to be like this. Look, if, if you work with me, if you work with me, I'll do my best for your boy and all those other kids. I'll do my best for my boy. You were a mistake. You're not from here. You don't belong. Leave. Well, not until I kick a little ass. Sorry, Leanne. Shouldn't let you come. But I was lonely for so long. I stayed tough for so long. I came because I wanted to. It's nobody's fault. Just a lot of bad luck. kill us, aren't they? Just as soon as he fixes the truck. Radio 88, Orton Creek. We have a special bulletin on the death of David Farmer. In an unusual move, prominent Orton Creek businessman Will Kern has today offered a $25,000 cash reward for information delivered to him personally as to the whereabouts of Frank Govers, suspect in the hit-and-run death of David Farmer. Kern accused Orton Creek Sheriff Ralph Baker of playing politics with the tragedy for his own political gain and has vowed to spearhead a recall movement against the sheriff. It's 66 degrees outside, and here's more music for you at Radio 88, Orton Creek. Frank. 
You call him Frank. Am I right? Frank covers. <laughs> oh, shit! You fucks lied to me. You stole Mr. Thompson's cabin. Oh, you're bad, Frank. Real outlaw. <laughs> Merlin! Merlin, wake up, man. Wake up! We're fucking rich. What do you think of that, huh? Good news, folks. You don't die. Call the sheriff. He ain't paying 25 grand. Afternoon. We're closed. I can see that. Have a nice day. <laughs> well, you know, I've been trying like hell to have one, but so far it's lousy. I was hoping that you might be able to make it better. <laughs> Doubt it. Well, let's take a shot at it, all right? My name is Sheriff Baker. I'm from Orton Creek. So you're the guy Will Curran wants to recall, Earl Cott. That's me. I'll vote for you. What else do you need? Besides a miracle of some kind. <laughs> well, what I need, I need to find uh, an electronic salesman. He goes by the name of Govers. Now, his company records show that he stays here from time to time on his route. Can't help you. Sorry. You can't? Or you won't? Whatever. I don't know where he is. He might have stopped here once or twice. I don't know. Would you mind closing that door when you go out? Earl, I don't think Govers killed that kid, but Will Curran does. And if he gets to him first, then I don't think you're going to see Govers again. Am I making myself clear? Now, uh, why don't you let me take a look around here? Hmm? Suit yourself. Appreciate it, Earl. Get Ray Neely and his tow truck out here right away. I want that goddamn Pontiac impounded. Never hit a goddamn thing. Then those kids framed Frank Govers? That's it. So why'd he run then? I don't know. I'll ask him when I see him. Listen, do me a favor. Get that license plate number I gave you of Earl Cott's pickup out to the state police. Maybe they'll get lucky before I do. Where are you headed? Thompson's Electronics. It's in Acton. That's uh, an hour and a half away. Hour and 15, sweetheart. Hour 15. <laughs> I'm coming back, Merlin. Three hours on the outside. I'm going to be bringing back a man. Who, now, listen to me. I'm bringing back a man who's going to give us a lot of money for those two inside. You understand? All you got to do is watch him, right? Don't hurt him. Just watch him. Now listen to your music, and I'll be back in no time. All right? All right? Good boy, Merlin. Don't hurt him too much. Did you ever kill anyone when you were with those weathermen guys? Rats. Lots of laboratory rats. No people? I wasn't that committed. Thompson? I'll be right there. 
I'll wait. What do you need, officer? It's Sheriff. Sheriff Baker. I just came in from Orton Creek. A little out of your jurisdiction, aren't you? Well, maybe you are, too. You mind answering a few questions? Depends. What can you tell me about a salesman who goes by the name of Frank Govers? You got a court order that says I have to talk to you, Sheriff? Court order? Yeah. Court order? Mm -hmm. No. I don't have court order. You want to know what I do have? I got nothing to lose. Hey! What the hell do you want to know for Christ's sake? What do I want to know? I want to know what it is about the son of a bitch that everybody he knows wants to help him. That's what I want to know. I didn't know yesterday when Frank was here that he, he was wanted for anything. I heard about that later on the radio. I, I, I mean, I didn't know he, he wasn't like himself. I mean, he was real agitated and nervous, but I, I, guess, I guess that explains it. Hey, and, and yeah, maybe I did try to help him. Because there's no way in hell that Frank Governor's going to run over a kid and keep going. That's not him. Now, believe me. Now, hell, I do believe you. He didn't hit the kid. But there are people who would have you think otherwise, and that's why it's important that I get to him before they do. You understand? Am I making myself clear? Good. Now, what kind of vehicle do you drive away in? Yeah, he was in his old Pontiac. Pontiac? Yeah. That means he went back. Back where? Back to Highway 60. You got any idea why you do that? Why he didn't just run his ass out of here? No, I don't know. Hey, but... No, wait, wait. Uh, I thought he was just overtired, like overworked. Uh, I'd made a suggestion that we go hunting up at my cabin. Maybe you went there? Where's your cabin? I'll get a map. Where is he now? Do I look fucking stupid? Just disreputable. Go on. Call me some other fucking names. And when you're done, we can get down to business or not. All right. Let's get down to business. First of all, I ain't gonna tell you where he is. Because it don't exactly look like you're gonna be including anyone else in this deal. Like cops? Yeah, I didn't think so. Probably like to include me out too, right? You bet your fucking A you would. What an upstanding pillar of the community you are. I love it. <laughs> Look, just get to it. Hmm? Here it is. I take you. Just you, up to the cabin where my hunting buddy is holding them. Yo, wait a minute. Who's with him? Oh, didn't I tell you? Old Frank's got a little squab with him up there. Who is she? Well, not much now. Anyway, I'll just throw her in for free. Like I said, you and me go to the cabin. You bring the bread. We get there, give me the bread, I'll give you poor Frank. What I gotta say is quite docile now. You'll like him. That's the deal. Almost the deal. Do I look fucking stupid? One of my businesses is insurance. I'd like to take some along. No, I hate crowds. Just one. Don. My son. He, uh has a little stake in this himself. Well, I like family shit. Kind of like a togetherness thing. Uh, you ride with me, and uh, five beta fuck over there can follow right behind you. You can carry the cash. Let's boogie. We got a long ride.
Jack, it's me. Let me talk to your dad. Jack! Shut up, Jack! Let me talk to him. How far? Uh, Jesus, I don't know. About an hour and 30 at least. It'd be nice to have some deputies, huh? Well, then I wouldn't get all the glory, would I? I'll talk to you later. What do you think's gonna happen? Uh, whoever Mick's getting will probably call the police. We got lucky. Think so? Yeah. Sure. One of the reasons why I love you, Frank, is because you've never lied to me. I know you're lying to me now. I wish I could hold you. Yeah. Me too. The guy offering the reward probably has something to do with whoever framed me. No. I don't think he's gonna turn us in. Out of the frying pan. Wait, I can fix it. <clears throat> uh, I can fix it. I can fix it, Merlin. I, I rebuilt the damn thing. Electronics are the one thing I'm good at. Untie me, I'll fix it for you. <sighs> okay. How about if I tell you how to fix it? Okay, I sit here with my hands tied and you fix it. How about that? We're not going anywhere, Merlin. Believe me. Okay? <clears throat> okay. Now, first thing you're gonna need is a screwdriver, blade head. Mick was using Mr. Thompson's tool somewhere. Right. Okay, now, uh, first of all, the problem is not in the unit. Like I said, I rebuilt it myself. The problem is an intermittent surge in the wall plug, most likely due to a short. So what you're gonna have to do is tape the inside wall wires together. And for that, you're gonna need some electrical tape. This is shiny stuff, it looks kinda like plastic. Yeah, right. Great, this is gonna be easy. Put the tape aside, we're, we're gonna need it in a minute. Now, the first thing you're gonna have to do is unscrew the wall plate over the plug. I hate it too when there's no music, Merlin. It makes me nuts. Okay, you ready for the next step? All right, now, what you're gonna have to do is gently but firmly Yank the receptacle, that little square thing, out of the... No, not yet. Not yet. I don't want you to hurt yourself. Listen to me. What you're going to do is gently yank the receptacle out of the wall so you can get to the bad connection behind it. Okay? Are you ready, Merlin? On three. One. Two. Yank! <laughs> Use your teeth on the ropes. Let's get the hell out of here. Like you, Mr. Kern. We're the same kind of guy. Is that you know you're too sensitive? I wouldn't do this for my kid. No way. You've got nothing to lose. It's a secret to life. Dad, you boys just stay right there. Dad. 
What, Jack? You're not... No, we're not gonna do anything stupid. Not like you boys. We're just gonna give Will some backup in case uh, that creep tries anything. We owe him that. All of us. Keep running. Where? I tell you, you two are the most gutless human beings I've ever met. Can you explain something to me? Whatever possessed you to become a policeman in the first place? I mean, when you were growing up, or was it either become a fireman or become a cop? And maybe you became cops because you could wear a uniform and carry a big gun. One thing I do know is you took an oath to uphold the law. When that oath turned out to be a little more than a piece of paper, you just cut out and ran. Hey, Bob. Did you tell your son why you're not wearing a uniform? Fred? Your boy's not old enough to know, but what are you gonna tell him when he grows up and he asks? Look, Joe, I know you're sweet on this guy, but... You're an asshole, Bob. That has nothing to do with this. I thought you were just gonna give us our last checks. Yeah, well, with it comes a little piece of my mind. Look. There's a real cop out there, and he's likely to run up against more than he can handle. And maybe not. But the one thing I do know is he could use some real deputies. Apparently, you two are not those guys. Excuse me. I need to talk to someone. Who's in charge now? I am. Let's hear it. We killed David. But there's gonna be more trouble now. They're gonna kill the other guy. Presently, between the current and the two Carlos and Dad, which left 15 minutes later. So the Dad's problem is that they had to cut back through town to pick up the highway from the Currens, so your deputies can intercept them. What are you talking about? What deputies? Bob and Fred. They had a change of heart. So what are you telling me? I got to contend with the two guys holding Frank and the girl along with the Currens. Yeah. All right. After Bob and Fred intercept the fathers, you tell them to get their asses up here to me. Oh, they know to do that. Hey, Ralph. What about the glory? Well, I think I can live without that. You guys were driving pretty fast. I thought you quit. Not likely. Nice place. I'm gonna hate to leave it. Now you wait there, boy. When your daddy's happy, we'll make the trade, be on our way. Stay there. Okay. I want 24 hours before you report to Cadillac. Agreed. Let's get this over with. 
Yeah, let's. Merlin, we're home. Put your dick away. You got company. Oh. Oh, Merlin. I killed Merlin. Killed Merlin. Oh. The deal's off. Oh, fuck the deal. They killed Merlin. is dead. You're going to pay for this. No, sir. You are. Over and over. Sheriff's office? No, he's out on sick leave. Can I help you? Stay right where you are. Don't move. I'll be right back. Hello, Leanne. I'm Sheriff Baker. My name is Randall Meacham. You know me as Frank Govers. I'd like to report a crime. Well, that case is closed. We found the boy's killer. No, uh, this is something different. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about something that happened a long time ago.
Well, Mr. Meacham, all I care about is what happens in Orton Creek and what happens from here on out. I promised my kid two days ago I was going to play some ball with her. I think before she gives up on me completely, I better pick her up and take her to the park. 